Officials revealed today that hundreds of remains buried at Arlington National Cemetery have been misidentified or even misplaced, causing anguish for the families and casting a shadow over one of America's most revered places. Here's David Curley. On America's most sacred land, the resting place of war heroes, management has been dysfunctional, even disgraceful. The Army investigation found at least 211 cases in which remains were mishandled, misidentified, left in unmarked graves, or buried improperly, leaving families wondering if their loved one is actually under that white headstone. There's simply no excuse. And on behalf of the United States Army, on behalf of myself, I deeply apologize to the families of the honored fallen resting in that hallowed ground who may now question the care afforded to their loved ones. One case involves Marion Gravy, a 26-year Air Force vet whose remains were buried on top of another service member. Then Arlington moved Gravy's remains without ever telling her family. The families who hear this story are, are not going to have peace of mind or confidence that their loved ones are exactly where they're supposed to be. It is disgraceful. They deserve better. Every one of them deserves better. The top man at Arlington has been stripped of his authority but will be allowed to retire. The number two man is on leave while he's investigated. Gina Gray was fired at Arlington and became a whistleblower. They should have been fired years ago. And they definitely should have been fired today. This is not a win for the Army. This is an embarrassment for them. But this problem could be exponentially bigger. The report shows that inspectors looked at only three sections here at Arlington National Cemetery. There are 70 sections. They stopped because the burial map inaccuracies were, quote, called a systemic problem. George, the Army says the problem stopped today, but it could be years of anguish for families before this hallowed ground is made right.